So at the end of the project, um, as a DOP, you're either going to be editing that footage or you're gonna be passing it on to a full-time editor to do that. When you have the luxury of having your editor be on location during the interview, you might wanna consider doing that. Uh, them being on set, they're gonna get a sense of um, the environment the interview was shot in and also can be making mental notes as they hear the interview going on to see what were the best takes uh, and that can also speed up in the post-production side of things because they saw everything that was shot. Is there anything else, Scott, that you'd like to add? Um, just to add on to everything that Dave said, it's good to have another set of, a set of eyes on the actual project. And so you get more collaborative moments. Maybe one of you saw something that the other didn't see. Um, sometimes they can double as a GIT for managing the actual data and the files. And other times, in case you have questions about how this angle will cut or with that angle, especially if doing B-roll or more um, corporate video style where you're getting more interactions and actual sort of reenactments and live action footage, it's always helpful to have a second opinion about how something might cut together for different angles. And like Dave mentioned, it's, it's always good to be on set to hear the interview and sort of make mental notes about what you think will work and what the highlights are. And so when you're going through the footage, you know, okay, around this far into the interview, this is where I'm looking for this part. And around this far, I'm looking for this part when you're putting it together. So it does speed up the process a little bit and definitely is very helpful if it's uh, available to you.